Tarot Medium, there are six common themes I run into in my sessions over and over again, and I'd like to share them with you. Hey, my name is Jenna Matlin. I am a tarot medium, tarot reader, been a full-time professional since 2012. I have a class coming up that you might be interested in. It's called Spectral Reader. Link in bio kicks off August 1st. So for this, for this, I'm going to do the first and the most common top three, and then I'll do a second parter with the other second half of the six themes I run into. So the first one is verification of life. This is the most common. Uh, this is typically sessions that have to do with the spirit really wanting to verify to the querent sitting with me that it's really them on the other side. It's really, really, really them. And I'm not making it up and it's not someone else and it's not some weird trick. It's really, really them. And they'll do that by verifying aspects about their life that I can't possibly have known in any other way. And this is by certifiable data. This is about evidential things, not just how they're feeling or that they miss them, but things about I had this many kids or I did this as a hobby or my personality was like this in life. Uh, that is the most common. The other part is the parts where they shared with the querent I'm sitting with. So they'll often talk about the querent maybe as a kid or a time in the querent's life that, that the spirit is bringing back to the querent or something shared between them, like a gift, like remember when I gave you this thing, or or even like um, issues with other family members in life, like your mother never understood you like I understood you in life, you know, these kinds of things. This is really to solidify that this connection has actually happened. The second most common uh, theme I would say is verification of the afterlife that they really are somewhere else. They really are existing in this other plane. They really like it there. <laughs> um, and that they're good. They're better than we are, in fact. They are way better than we are. Like, trust me, they are way better than we are. And I often say it's like a caterpillar becoming a butterfly. The butterfly flying around is great. Better than the caterpillar ever was. But as a caterpillar, we don't really understand what it's like to be a butterfly. So we worry because we've lost our caterpillar family member. And this verification seems to happen very commonly, especially for those who are atheists or agnostics or didn't believe in an afterlife in their own lives. So they're in a way kind of comforting the querent and saying, even though I didn't believe in an afterlife, I'm there. And it's amazing. The buffet is like so cute. And then the third most common uh, theme would be what I would call solidification of the relationship. So things that really, like I, I am here, I am real, one, I am on the other side, two, but I still really love you and you're still really important to me and this relationship is still intact. We never lose that relationship, even through death. It just transforms for a little while. So we'll see that often in the reiteration of love that comes through so much. And I love that. I love being part of that. It comes through in like offering comfort. Um, and we see that often in verifying that they are visiting them. They are concerned about them. They are important to them. And that's the most important thing of all. So that's the top three. Verification of the shared life. Verification of the afterlife and solidification of the relationship between the querent and the spirit. Stay tuned for more.